Alright everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video. On today's video we are here with Resident Evil Village, otherwise known as Resident Evil 8. Um, we just finished Resident Evil 7 in our last Resident Evil video and I did say in that one, if anyone was listening, that this is our next game in this line. Uh, we're going to play Resident Evil Village. And I, in terms of the next game after this, I honestly wouldn't mind playing Resident Evil 2, but that's just a suggestion for now. Um, nothing is solid until we actually get close to the end of this game, which is obviously... Still a while away. So here we are, Resident Evil Village. Um, essentially, I'm going to be playing this game on normal. Uh, I tried a hard playthrough on this channel before and it just didn't go well. Um, it's very difficult and there's just too many errors that would just ruin the fluidity of the video. Um, obviously, I have editing at my advantage, but I would die that much that it would take me, I, I don't know, <laughs> five hours to do a half an hour video. I don't know. It, it just... It wouldn't really work with the whole daily upload thing. And I'm happy to just play through again on normal just to get the experience of the game again because when I first played through this game, it was when it first came out and it wasn't even me completely playing it. I was taking turns with my friends because we all wanted to see the story. So we took turns playing um, and then we were all just watching the other person play when that when it wasn't our turn and then we played when it was our turn. So this is a proper full experience for me. Um... So yeah, I'm really excited to do this. Uh, I really enjoyed the game when I first played it. Hopefully it holds up. And otherwise, that's all I really have to say other than please do make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. Drop a sub notification bell. Also make sure to come check out my Twitch streams. Uh, over there, we're probably going to be playing Control next. And then after that, maybe we jump might jump on my PS5 finally. Um, we'll see. But that said, that's all I really have to say. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump into the game. Hopefully someone enjoys this series. Uh, Resident Evil 7 was a fun playthrough. Uh, this game's not meant to be as scary, but it's uh, it's still it's still there. And I'm excited to jump into it. So with that said, without further ado, let's go ahead and load up a new game on Standard. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the Rasko broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides... Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. 
We moved here so that you wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. Yeah, okay, champ. <clears throat> yeah, this is an interesting interesting uh it's okay, Rose. twist the first you know, time you play it through. Remember. I can't blame her. I'll look around like it's my first playthrough there. I'm not gonna... Nothing. I'll put her down. Yeah, no, it's uh it was that caught me off guard the first time I played through this game. Well I've got you another new book. Oh, Mia. What a miracle. Three years ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. <sighs> Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. Yeah, right. He goes the whole way. Nothing in the pantry. Me makes important. everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Fair enough. Um, I don't think there's anything else down here, to be honest. This isn't, like, a drastically important segment of the game. I will say that. Um, I, yeah. I know what happens, so... We'll just Yeah, I think we can go upstairs now. <laughs> Maybe something on that bookshelf, otherwise, yeah, let's go. There's a bit more, like, interesting stuff to explore upstairs, but it's still the same. The game doesn't really kick off until you put Rose to bed. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. It's probably something in this hallway. As I said, I did this the first time I played through the game, so I'm just doing the same thing. Trying to take in everything around you, just have a look around, because... Why not? There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Fair enough. You could hear the bathroom. Mia's medication. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. There you go. Wait till you find out, buddy. <laughs> yeah, if someone's actually watching this for a first time, let me know. I won't. Spoil the game. Yeah, Mama, I doubt anyone is. So much. Almost there, honey. Completely missed the uh the bedroom over here. This is like the. This isn't me as. Uh, this isn't Rose's bedroom, sorry, this is the guest room or something? I don't know. I know this thing's sitting there. I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. The old bobblehead collectible had to had to give us a reference. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Fair enough. I, I don't know about my brightness low or what. This shit seems dark. Curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the Murdoch under the area. Jack Baker and his family who were exposed to the gas perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby. But their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Everyone's so forgotten about this already. They covered it up. There's a little bit, yeah. See, if I didn't look around, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see these small little references to the other games. European castles, a little tie-in to, uh, I think, where the game's set. To be honest, just kind of setting it up. What's about to happen, more or so? I think. Anyway, let's go ahead and get rid of Rose, and I guess kind of get more into the thick of the uh, the game 
We get in here anything? Oh, right. Here. Well, that's putting Rose down. Yeah, I'll put her in. There you go. You can sweetheart. still walk around. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. You're not wrong. Alright, well, I probably should have put her down first. I move around a lot faster now, can't I? Alright, let's see what's on the computer. Uh, Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but I still feel like part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but we can, can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened where, uh, what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe that much at least. Owe her, sorry. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Fair enough. Uh, Rosemary Winters screenings. All results show no issues. Patients in good health. Results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA. Rose is fine. Rose's favorite toy. <laughs> Family photos, fair enough. I wish it could stay like this forever. Fair enough. It's a very reasonable thing to say. Uh, heavy firearms manual for field it's combat situation. Really to get you. <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> anyway, that's enough exploring at the house. We just looked over at the time. I think we've done our fair shit. Let's go ahead and get. We don't have to look at anything else. Let's go down here. Cue the cutscene with old Mia. I think we're good. Yeah. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just. Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> She doesn't even give Mia, a fuck. Get down! Yeah, there was Mia. Oh God. Chris, what the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? <sighs> yeah, right. And uh, there were subtle hints this whole game setting up the ending. No cap. You just Go didn't move. notice them first place. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Rose. Get him out Technically, I shouldn't be getting a rock like that either. Oh well. Hey, 
Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Well, that's no good, is it? No good at all. Chris Redfield and Rose. Target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters, move the two Winters to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Phone's useless, fair enough. Alrighty, here we are. Essentially in the village. I wonder what he did, eh? His indicator's on. <laughs> At least he indicated. Alright, what do we got here? He gets over the cold pretty fast, doesn't he? I'm just thinking, like, the dude's literally freezing right now. He definitely gets over that problem. I guess he faces much bigger problem. Uh, I, I had a feeling I was going off track. Couldn't tell. Fucking dark. Maybe I do have my brightness too late. We'll see. Just meant to follow this track. First playthrough, a sound like that literally gets me fucking bugging, but luckily enough, I would say I'm, uh, I'm prepared. And I, under. At least in this first segment, I, I can, I can accurately guess, like I know what happens essentially. No, I don't even know what I was trying to say, just then. One of these birds comes alive. I thought that was in Resident Evil 7, so I was tweaking in Resident Evil 7, like, oh my god, man, please. Yeah, see that sound there? Doesn't bother me, because I know what happens. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. There is segments of the game, though, where I'm going to forget what the fuck happened. And I'd say that's most of the segments of this game, except the first segment, I think. Something like that. Get rid of house. Is there a way in? Ah, oh, see. That's what I'm saying. I can barely see. I feel like my brightness is generally too low. Give me a second. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. 
just couldn't see anything. Like, I'd, I'd much... I understand that it's, like, scarier, I guess, that you can't see shit, but I think it's it's much more reasonable if I can actually see where I'm going. In a way. Like, not, a, not like, light the whole path. Not that type of seeing, but just enough for me to be able to determine where I'm going, because I walked into plenty of walls just then, so... I don't think you can pick anything up yet. Not until you reach like a certain segment. It's still, I still can't see down corridors, like the, the brightness is still dark enough for that, at least. Why does it zoom in? Borderline annoying, I won't lie. Just pile drive that over. <laughs> Rap. You should have horrified me first playthrough, I went along. I'm playing with headphones on now too, which obviously this is not how I experienced my first playthrough, I'll just say that. So maybe stuff will still jump the absolute shit out of me. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm a pretty jumpy dude. I'm here to play again though, and I will not give up. I promise you that. Did all this. It's a good question, my friend. Can I go back this way? Let's see what's out here. Can't go back out of that door. I mean, fair enough. Yeah. I was gonna say it looks a lot brighter now, but it, it's daytime. <laughs> well, the sun's coming up at least, and whatever the hell. It's still clouded, but. There is light. This shot will always be beautiful. Where the I mean, just look at that. I? That is absolutely beautiful. There is no denying that. I took a screenshot of it the first time I saw it. It was my wallpaper for a long time. This whole game visually is really damn good. This is the, What you're seeing at the moment is not even its full capability on my Xbox. Due to my Elgato, it can only pick up, can only pick up up to 1080p. Um, so none of my videos are above that quality, unfortunately. Even though my Series X can do it, um, my uh, my recording software isn't good enough. And any way to record at a higher quality has to be done through a uh, a like a built PC, which I don't have. So. PC I use is like some all-in-one office thing that I stole off my parents. So. There's no point going down there without just progressing, so I'm not going to. This is the door they're trying to get you to go through. Maybe maybe they're out. Where is it? Oh what the hell? They just dragged the horse, I did. This is the door you meant to get to. Hey, you hear a lot more with headphones on, don't you? <laughs> and it's obvious it's been a fucking dickhead. Do not enter. I don't think you get to go up there until way later in the game. I like the system with this that way you can see what you, what areas are done and what areas aren't. I like that system. 
You can't go through there, I don't think. This episode's main goal, though, is just to be a brief overview of the game. I'm not... I'm not gonna get far in terms of progression, I'll just say that now. Don't expect. I'll probably get up to like, I don't know. There is a big fight. I don't know if I'll cue that in this episode. If I do, that's okay, but I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not sure. It depends where we end up getting to in the time that I'm still actively recording, I guess. So achievement to open all of those. Not able to just yet, though. He yeah, cucked out of a lot of things at this stage. You don't get to actually delve into it until. What's weird? What happened? This is all such a tease first way through. So all these corridors that you can access, thinking something's gonna fucking come for you. They do relatively leave you alone. For for a for a period of time, not forever. Obviously. Yo you got a knife now. And a first aid med, cool. Did they just run out of the house? I definitely didn't notice that first playthrough. No, no, friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? Oh no. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Come on, are you that oblivious? What the? You can faintly see that with the lighting I had. <laughs> Dead body? <laughs> These one lighters are terrible, bro. A dead body? Jesus Christ. Is it all what one cutscene? wrong with this place? I think you should know. <laughs> uh, here he is, the lad. Some distance. Bro, he covered some distance this thing. I was guarding, man. What? I pressed LB like a second too late. Ooh. 
Once again, I had my fucking button on LB just a second too late, man. All these shots are hitting. Oh, yeah. See, it takes 10 bullets to kill them on normal. What the hell? What do you want from me? Oh, well. I was low. Might as well use it. I don't think I've ever actually gone back and picked that thing up. I always just never noticed it. The chem fluid. Oh, can I craft? No, I can't. Right. Well, now I can. That's the whole point of it. Yeah, gotcha. Um. I see. Okay, so that's that sort of. Nine bullets left, it's reasonable. It's still not very good though. Yeah, nothing for that. Oh, I can get back to here, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Oh, well, there you go. Bolt cutters. Isn't that handy? <laughs> Just have them laying around. You know what? I honestly think this is a good point to leave the video off. I've just looked over at my timer. I don't think there was really any edits. Not too many edits, at least, in this uh, segment of the game. So I think before... I know what's next, and I think before I get to that, I should leave the game off here, because the next segment takes time. And I'm not going to want to do that now, because it's going to drag heavily into this episode. If I start it now, so I'm going to use my knowledge and cut the video off there. It's a, it, we're, at, we're at a reasonable length to do that too, so I think it's completely fair that we do leave it off. And yeah, so we'll be back next episode with more. Thank you guys for checking this video out. If you did not enjoy it, please make sure you leave a like, triple sub notification bell. Also make sure to come check out my Twitch stream. Links in the description down below. I'd love to see you guys there. That's all I have to say. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.